project what this is a be. Now today I'm going to be talking about the brutal slaying of a woman in Central Village. Her name is Marcia Dillon. This lady lives in America, right? And ironically, she fly down to bury her mother. And now other people are planning to bury her. They can tell them about it. But just an update. Yesterday, you would have heard the video about Motombo. And you might talk about the kerosene Avia. Well, them all on Panar. She's now in police custody. So you know say Motom one the 87 them supposed to have fret. Because anytime you see them all up on the kerosene, people get nervous. Remember say most 87s can't hold it. So imagine the kerosenes. So we have to see how that work out. But at least now the security forces are starting to focus on the kerosene them. Because one time they were all about the 87. I'm telling all the time say 87s don't act alone. So we have to see how this works. Anyway, let's get back to Central Village. So, this lady, Marcia Dillon, she was killed by some 87s from a place known as Zion Lane. Right, right now, they might call themselves the Immortal Gang. That's how confident they are. Who knows what they might call themselves next week? But right now, a Immortal Gang, they must say. And the Danfi Immortal Gang, or the Zion Lane man, them, is a youth by the name of Dogman. Now, over a decade ago, his father was killed. And the youth went blame Fim Father's death. And one of the men them when blame Fim Father's death is the son of Marcia Dillon. But that youth ended up fly out. So he left Jamaica. So dog man them basically can't get to him. Then can't just pop around the road or run and program on him as my try to come out the community. So over a decade ago, you might be thinking to yourself, well, a long time that. Maybe them forget. Well, they haven't. So dog man them get intel, said the lady go fly down to bury her mother, right, and start plan to kill her. People here say them a plan to kill her and tell her say don't visit Jamaica. Just leave it alone. Or don't fly down for the funeral. Well, you don't know, you can't tell nobody what to do. So she end up fly down and on the night of the week, the man them turn up. Two eighty sevens fire off a barrage of shot. Right, and said them empty the clip on her. So this woman never actually do them nothing. Then those can't get to the sun, so them decide say they might go take out all of them anger on her. Because they know say once the sun day, America and USA mother dead. Right, they might go feel it. Because that's just how bad this thing go. Right. Them no believe in a forgive and forget. Even if it's over a decade ago. Once them get the opportunity, they might go take it. So right now things tense between Zion Lane and another part of the community named Big Lane. So things might get spooky between them two places, Big Lane and Zion Lane. But you have to ask yourself the question, if they can do something like this right, to a woman that could not just be their mother but maybe even their grandmother, imagine what they would do to you. I mean we know how bad this thing go already when those 87s always target each other but when they see them target them each other's parents each other's brothers and sisters and them thing there. When they know say them you tell a business. They have a thirst for killing and if them can't satisfy that thirst with the person what they want, well they might get somebody close to them. But let me ask you some people at Jamaica. Wouldn't you find it strange? So all these women are being killed, right? All over the place. Big woman like my said they don't get killed. I wouldn't have seen none of the groups them. Right, but claim to them love woman and make them nice. Your favorite celebs may claim say them stand for women and they want to protect women. Them don't make the nice. Wouldn't you find that strange? Would you notice when time they met nice? Like recently when time we see the video in a West Kingston with the soldier and the female who was screwing up with the soldier. Only how much nice they make. So now we see a woman get the clip empty on her. Want more on the phone now work. Want more on the Wi-Fi. Only on the data. Can somebody send some credit? Go give them. Send some credit, go give them. Make them put on some data so that them can call out Zion Lane man them by name. Call out an immortal gang by name. Why your favorite activists them can't do this? I don't understand. They can call out the most evil group, the most monstrous group right, in the country. Remember, the JDF is the most evil group in the country, according to their narrative the ultimate monster. So if you can call out by name, by organization, 
right? The JBF, when that was swag one, I was seeing somebody, right? Then call out the immortal gang and dog man by name because by your reasoning, they are the lesser evil. By your reasoning, they pose less of a threat to poor people. They pose less of a threat to ghetto people. Unlike the JDF, who would know so wake up in the morning and apparently plot new ways to go kill poor people, right, for no reason. These gangs, right, are not as evil as the JDF. So your favorite activists should call them out. The man them empty the clip on Marcia Dillon. Where is your favorite celeb now? Woman I drop left, right and center. Find the strength to call out the immortal gang. See me even I help you now. The damn name dog man and come from Zion Lane and them name immortal gang in a central village. Me think you love ghetto people. Me think you love women. See one here? Big woman. What about the kids? Three year old, four year old? When you see them cut down daily in Jamaica, nobody know one call out these gang by name. Very interesting. I tell you to some of them people at agencies now, but you don't believe me. Because they are quote unquote brave enough to call out the ultimate monsters. Speaking about children, I see a video, right? I go on social media. I post it on Patreon, but it catch 87s live on one of them shooting operations. The man them turn around. Right, a star for your beer shot. One bag of pitney, even baby, stand up there. The man them have no regard for pitney. Right. You see the shot, them a lick the fence, right, beer dust, dog a run up and down, 87 of them run off, and then later on you see, one youth a hop. But the pitney them, stand up there, and the man them the business. This is how easy it is, 87s kill children in Jamaica. Videos like that should shock the entire nation. Videos like that, should be all over the news and you should be getting condemnation from every single activist, every single celeb, right, and call out these gangs in a bad man place by name. The point me I try to make is when you see people are going like say they love women and they love poor people and they love ghetto people and they're standing up to the evil security forces who keep abusing them. Understand it's for likes. Understand it's called virtue signaling. Because if they truly cared for women, truly cared for ghetto people, truly cared for children, then they would call out the people who kill them the most. Right? And I don't mean vague, but no, criminals now by name. Right? And repost certain things and put it on the page and show that this is stand for. Because I repeat it for the 567th time. You're brave enough to call out the ultimate monster, which is the security forces, which is the JDF to call out the lesser monster. The PIA need help. It needs support. You have all these big celebrities, right, who sit down and bleach and wait for a video where it is some local dispute when I was king some between JDF and residents. And them say, oh, we post this because we stand up for women and we love ghetto people. So, since that's the case, help us out by calling out people like Dagon, who make him friend them, empty the clip in a master because them couldn't get to our son. Help us out. PIA, talk to me in the comment section. Is this not a fear demand? Because think about it, PIA. If I tell them to say, I love puppies, and group A, I kill 1500 puppies every year, and group B, kill about 50 puppies every year, why would I spend all my time, energy, and resources talking about group B when they only kill 50 puppies? and completely ignore group A that kill 1500 puppies, it doesn't make sense. Link your favorite celeb. Link your favorite activist. Just ask them, why? When Marcia Dillon did, why would not soon call out Martel Gang and Dogman by name? Please, spare us your bravery. Lend us some of it. The people in Central Village, Marcia's family and friends will be very grateful. The many women in Jamaica who are killed right, because either stray shot or who they related to would also be grateful. Just the thought. So keep an eye on Central Village. I expect things to get very spooky. There is very likely to be some kind of retaliation for a go on so. And I already know say, when Central Village get hot, it come like the Nevada desert. So we are keep an eye on the community to see how all this play out, but it's going to get ugly. The world can't catch work, I catch him shouting. It's a disastrous mindset. It's 
a deadly mindset. Anyway, Adrian Squad, be open yourself. PIA, you don't know more life. Vulture Squad, stay circling. Bless.